Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushan Sutish and I am your instructor for this AZ-900 Azure Fundamentals Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about Azure Privacy, Compliance and Data Protection Standards. So let's explore Azure Compliance Terms and Requirements. When selecting a cloud provider to host your solutions, you should understand how the provider can help you comply with regulations and standards. Some questions to ask about the potential provider include, how compliant is the cloud provider when it comes to handling sensitive data? How compliant are the services offered by the cloud provider? How can I deploy my own cloud-based solutions to scenarios that have accreditations and compliance requirements? Microsoft invests heavily in the development of robust and innovative compliance process. The Microsoft Compliance Framework for online services map their controls to multiple regulatory standards, which enables Microsoft to design and build services using a common set of control. These controls streamline compliance across a range of today's regulations as they continue to evolve in the future. While the following image is not a full set of compliance offering, it will provide you with an idea of the level of compliance offering that available within Azure. So how to identify Microsoft Privacy Statement? The Microsoft Privacy Statement explains what personal data Microsoft processes, how Microsoft processes it, and for what purposes. And Microsoft offers a wide range of products, including server products used to help operate enterprises worldwide, devices you use in your home, software that students use at school, and services developers use to create and host what's next. References to Microsoft product in this statement include Microsoft services, websites, apps, software, servers, and devices. Please read the product specific details in the privacy statement. Let's explore what is Compliance Manager. A Compliance Manager is a workflow-based risk assessment dashboard within the Trust Portal that enable you to track, assign, and verify your organization's regulatory compliance activities, which is related to Microsoft Professional Services and Microsoft Cloud Services, such as your Office 365, Dynamics 365, and Azure. Compliance Manager provide various features. Some of these features include detailed information provided by Microsoft to auditors and regulators information that Microsoft compliants internally for its compliance regulations. And it provides a secure repository in which to upload and manage evidence and other artifacts related to compliance activities. Let's identify what is Azure Government Services. Azure Government is a separate instance of Microsoft Azure Service. It addresses the security and compliance need of US federal agencies, state and local governments. Azure government provides the broadest compliance and level five department of defense or DOD approval. You can choose from six government only data center regions, including two regions granted a level five provisional authorization. Azure government also offers the most compliance certification by any cloud provider. Azure China, which is 21 YNET, is operated by 21 YNET. It's a physically separated instance of cloud services located in China. Independently operated and transacted by Shanghai Blue Cloud Technology Co. Limited. The Azure services are based on the same Azure, Office 365, and Power BI technologies that make up the Microsoft Global Cloud Service. Azure agreements and contracts in China where applicable are signed between customers and 21 YNET. As the first foreign public cloud provider offered in China in compliance with government regulations, Azure China 21 YNET provides world-class security as discussed on the Trust Center. Now that we have learned about the compliance terms, compliance offering, 
Azure Garmin, Azure China 21 Wired. Now let's go and learn about what is Azure Trust Center. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.